Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. It's the latest of our video calls. We are chatting to everybody while we're all stuck at home at the minute. And I'm delighted to say we've got Lil Lotus on the line. How are you, man? Doing good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And uh, we'll start this off in the way we've started off all of them, which say, you know, I hope you, your loved ones, your, you know, family members all just kind of keeping safe and as well as you can over this uh, last very, very odd 18 months we've been having. And I guess before we get into the ways you've been very, very productive musically in this time, um, just generally, how you've been finding it, man? How you've been keeping, keeping sane over this, uh, this strange time stuck at home? Keeping sane, uh, just writing as much music as possible. Yeah, that's a fair, that's a pretty pretty good answer, dude. That's a way to do I have it. A few, right I have a few other motivators, but mainly writing music. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, dude. I respect that. <laughs> a lot. Uh, well, let's let's get into it then, man. The album's kind of imminent when I'm chatting to you. It's called Error Boy. Tell me a little bit about it. When did these tracks kind of first start developing? Was this really something that's kind of been written over this last year, or did you have anything before that? Uh, I want to say that we did it pretty fucking fast, but I canceled a lot of um, sessions because I was hung over a lot. Um, but it didn't take it wasn't I don't think it was a year. I don't think it was a year. We did it pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty sick. So. Well, I mean, it's basically the, the amount of people you've been working with on it. It's like it's a proper kind of dream team for this. And I guess the the one, to Dude, start, yeah, yeah, the one to start talking about is Feldy, really, who's just such a great yeah, mental fucking people. course. Yeah, yeah Feldy how was a it? Fucking legend. He's a yeah. fucking legend. Like, uh, first day I fucking hop in the studio and I I was hung over shit, and then we fucking we did two songs. Travis Barker hops in midway while I'm like tracking vocals. And so like the way Feldman's like studio is set up when you're tracking vocals, it's in this like big ass live room and you walk through this door that's like behind where you're tracking vocals. And then you walk into the control room. So I just see like a figure pass by me and it like trips me the fuck out. So I like, get scared because I'm like, oh, a ghost or like some bullshit. And then I'm like, oh, it's Travis Barker. And so I'm like, oh, what's up, Legend? And then we fucking just did those two songs. And we did two songs. I want to say we did like two songs a day for this album. And then the album was good to go. Yeah, it's funny with, with Feldy in particular, it seems like that's that's a really cool way of working. He likes to open up that studio and it's like, oh, hey, Travis might stop by or, you know, it's it's like kind of a cool vibe going into it by the looks of it. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, like it, was, awesome it was experience. very casual the way that oh, Travis is coming on. Like, oh, tra just Travis. Oh, oh just yeah. Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Travis, yeah. Like, which Travis? Like, who, <laughs> wait, who are you talking about? Just the, the way you're Travis. talking about Travis, like, it just <laughs> sounds very casual. But That's it was the Travis, and Travis pulls up and made some bangers. Man, no, it's awesome, dude. It's awesome to see you get to work with kind of this big mix of people. The other one I want to mention as well is, uh, of course, Chrissy. You know, we, we've covered against the current loads over the years. Always a band we've supported uh, loads. Big, big fans of Chrissy's work there. Talk to me a little bit about dude. getting her on a Romantic Disaster. It really fits the pairing, that. Dude, the fucking song, like, so... We wrote that song and then like everyone was like like you're singing so high lotus like it like it kind of it sounded already like a girl was on it and then um i guess so oh so brett from the label brett from epitaph reaches out to little aaron and he's asking little aaron like you know like maybe we should have a feature on this like listen to this song like, let me get your opinion like what do you think we should do? And he's like, oh, I know exactly who the fuck to put on it. He's, it's, and then he's like, Chrissy. Like, so then we start getting in talks with um, her team, who is now my team. Uh, shout out Tag. And uh, we get her on the fucking uh, song. And then she just came in and fucking murdered it. And so came out sick. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. Yeah, no, it, re it really, really works well, man. It's very, very cool to see that one there. And yeah, then... she fucking owns that song. Oh, yeah. But so, I mean, yeah, it's such a great vocalist. really brings something to Dude, it. Dude, for real. Sure. Yeah. And then you mentioned Lil Aaron as well, you know, another collaborator of yours. Definitely clear influence over what's going on here. Like, tell me a little bit about working with him on uh, on this particular album, dude. Oh, on this one? I've worked with him on fucking just about almost everything. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but this one, this one... uh. 
he he helped on that on that song. He he wrote on that song. Um, we like had like a little part where we we're like, oh, what the fuck do we do in this like bridge? And he went in there and just like, oh, I got it. Walks in there, blah, 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 blah. got it done. And I was like, okay, fuck you, like <laughs> you're perfect. <laughs> but so he's just like a little fucking musical mastermind with shit. But it, it's I've worked with Aaron so much that I, I was wasn't surprised but i was just like all right whatever <laughs> sounds yeah. fucking amazing <laughs> like, yeah it's annoying it's annoying when someone's that good just comes and drops it like yeah that. <laughs> yeah puts it, aaron aaron just comes in the studio and puts his balls on the table yeah fair play man he knows what he's doing um i want to mention <laughs> yeah. i like to ask people about album titles a lot man because they, I, I just always find it really interesting what people pick to kind of sum up a record like that era boy talk to me about why you decided that was going to be what summed up these songs for you um naming the album error boy was kind of uh i don't know, i can't i can't i don't know if i really have an answer for that but just i am error boy like it, before I, we even named it error boy i got error tattooed on my throat so i was just like it's like error like an error like i don't know so it just it kind of fit and all the songs are kind of just like the hopeless romantic fucked up lost love type bullshit so it kind of just fit but um I guess it just, it was kind of like a no brainer. It wasn't really, there wasn't too, too much like thought in it. It just kind of made sense to just name it Error Boy. Hey, if it fits, it fits. If I it feel like, friends, it, fits, feel like it works. Yeah, I feel like every girl out there has their little Error Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you all know who they are. Spot your Error Boy, yeah. man. Send them a pre save link on this one. Um, I want to ask you kind of what's next, dude, because I found that loads of people, particularly when, you know, live shows haven't been happening and everyone's kind of been stuck where they are for the last year or so. It feels like people have just hit the ground running again with more new stuff. Has that been the case with you? Are you still kind of working on what might come even after this at this point? Uh, yeah, my man, my managers and everybody like on my team is just like, hey, like, you know, kind of marinate in this and like you know, just kind of sit in it. But I, I, I am too, I can't like stop making music. I'm constantly working on music. So, and another thing is that I have no fucking idea, like what I'm going to do for the next one. Um, I just, I guess we'll see some kind of consistency in the way that I write or something like that. Call that an album, but I just do what the fuck I want when I want to and put it out and, people want to pay me they'll pay me <laughs> it's a good attitude huh? do you feel like i mean obviously like we say you've worked with little aaron loads on this stuff so i'm sure that whatever comes next he'll pop up in some way shape or form but uh with the likes yeah. of feldy feldy and travis i imagine it looks like that's worked really well as as a collab with feldy do you feel like that might continue in the future oh i would fucking love to work with feldy some more in the future Fel feldman is like um i don't even I don't even know. Like, we, like our like um, the single uh, "Think of You Tonight." We've had like a few questions about like, oh, what was the what was the writing process like and shit like that. And I I'm just like I don't really know what to tell you because like I went I came to the studio. He had like options for shit for us to write to. All those I was like, eh, like they're good. They're like everything Felly makes is fucking amazing. But I was like. Maybe not for this album. Maybe not for that. This album, like you know, and I'm like, why don't we just kind of start like jamming out some music and like listening to some bands that I fucking like and some bands that we you know can kind of pull from and and like get some inspiration and then fucking go from there. So we did that. Listened to a bunch of shit and then um, this guy just starts fucking shredding on guitar and. 30 minutes later, he's like, looks back at me. He's like, you got anything? I was like, no. <laughs> so he's like, oh, well, uh, hop in there. Do your thing. So I just hop in. I just hopped in there. And then 30 minutes later, after just freestyling a bunch of, like, bullshit, he's like, I love it all. There's a song. So I come out back into the fucking engine, or to the fucking control room. And he's like, that's the fastest song I've ever fucking made with anybody. So it was like, it was like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, me uh, just freestyling shit. And we fucking made the song. It's my, that song is probably my favorite song on the album. Think of, think of, uh, think of me tonight.
Yeah, it's nice when things like that just work so, well, man. When it clicks and it those just are the ones. Quick. Those are the ones that it's it's like um, people always ask me like, oh, how do you like write shit? And I'm like, you don't write things down, like you don't. And I know like a lot of like my like colleagues. That's a big word for me. Uh, uh, they you know they'll they'll be like you know how do you like you don't you don't write things down like you just you just remember it i'm like well like if you can't remember it then like if somebody hears it on the fucking radio and they can't get it out of their head or they they don't remember what you said they're not going to remember it but if you write something that's like so memorable and they are like going through their day and they're like at work or they're doing whatever the fuck they're doing and they keep singing that little melody and they keep singing those lyrics, like you'll remember it while you're in the studio. So like, we just take that approach with everything. It's a good tester, man. That's a good mark to try and hit. Get something that's a little you have earworm. To, you have to give yourself the earworm as yeah. you're writing. Before I let you go, I got a shout out Dennis Rodman in the back there because I like that picture a lot. That is a oh yeah, cool Dennis Rodman is chilling over here. That's a cool piece of art, man. I like that a lot. Yeah, well... Don't forget this. Oh, one, double Rodman. You've got to go double Rodman. Yeah. Double Rodman. Absolutely, dude. All Don't right. really like that. All right, dude. Nice to chat to you. Hopefully see you in the UK sometime if uh, if shows ever come back. That'd be nice too. Dude, I'd love to. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right. Appreciate you, man. Nice talking to you. You too, man.